Hello guys, I'm at my church, at my local church um, at United Hope Seventh-day Adventist Church and we're located in Union, New Jersey. So I just wanted to show you um, some of the technology in which our AV team uses to accomplish our missionary goals or our AV missionary goals that we have set up for the year. As our cameraman comes closer, I want to bring you guys to our video and audio setup. And I think first, let's actually go through the mixer. So right now, we are actually using um, the Behringer mixer. So this mixer is, I believe, the X18 or yes, X18. And this is kind of where we do all of our audio. Um, this is actually just a temporary mixer until um, we fully develop our AV department and that's kind of pretty much our audio setup we actually have audio that comes in here and we have um, one that we specifically one bus that we specifically send out just for our live stream and right here we kind of just have a, a audio splitter that kind of rewards some of the audio to different destinations in which we have actually in our local in the sanctuary and actually you know in other departments of the church so that's kind of how our, our audio setup so the bearing the x ear 18 is actually what we use and because this is this doesn't have any physical buttons actually we use an ipad to control it so we kind of have it hooked up to a network or it has its own network i should say and with this network and we could control it through an ipad we could restore settings and all of that nice stuff but for me personally and I, and I would say for whoever works um the audio of the church sometimes it just becomes a little bit complicated not having the physical button so we kind of want to move forward to another another mixer that gives us both capabilities so as we come on over to our video section um we actually have three PTZ up six camera con um, cameras um, these cameras are situated at one is directly um, at the back of our church well two are directly at the back of our church and we also have one on the right I know in the future we want to upgrade and get more cameras so we can get more shots but I think um, you know that's kind of our next step so in order to control these PTZ of this um, controller we actually have the Sony um, IP remote controller and I think I think sometimes I think this is kind of overkill but this controller allows us right now to control 16 cameras and we could control these cameras with I believe RS232 and don't call me on the, the, the connector but I believe it's RS232 and also we could do it over um, the LAN network cable so we have those two optionalities and this is kind of what we use to control our cameras um, if you come in and look at the controller itself it is pretty simple and basic and easy to use um, this is where you select the camera this is kind of where you would control um, have your presets and over here on the right side is kind of where you would like pan left um, pan right zoom in zoom out and on, also on the left side the joystick also enables us to control the focus and you know these small you know little details so it is a pretty compact um, Sony controller and it, it works excellently um, for us we have been using this for I would say over three years now we have been using this and we haven't had any problems uh, with the controller we're gonna come on over to our main hub so right here we actually have for video we actually have the black magic ATM television studio um, this is kind of our video mixer and this is where all of our video inputs come in not only for the cameras but we actually have inputs that are coming in from the computer in case somebody wants to preach through zoom or do something through on um, the computer we also have that functionality um, this this is actually a smart video switch hub and this is just a beast so this is those 12 outputs 12 inputs with 12 outputs so with these because we have different rooms in our church we want to be able to route different video signals to different destinations so also all of our video inputs are come directly into this and this video hub 
on the fly allows us to switch what we want to display at any given this destination at any given time so this is just amazing um live streaming is live streaming is a must at this time period so we actually have um the atm uh i i, I don't even remember the name for this but the atm web presenter yes it is called the atm web presenter and this is what we use to send our video feed that we get from the program out of our ATM television studio and we send it to a computer and we're able to broadcast from that. Recording at church is also very important so we also have the ATM recorder and this takes in two SD cards and still takes the same video that we get from the ATM, ATM television studio and actually you know we could record um, whatever we want to in case we want to do like a small video or a small clip it or something you know we have that functionality in our video setup and this is basically our video template uh, you have you know program this is the clean feed which will which everyone sees and this and this is basically the same thing and these would be our video inputs um, from our different video um, destinations so you can just have a look this is pretty much it and this is all um, in a nice I want to say compact rack um, which we could pretty much pull and pull apart and just uh, move forward and over here we kind of have just a replica of whatever is here here to just to see these things a little bit bigger in case somebody comes up to the AV they want to see what's going on they don't have to you know be focused on this small screen which is used by whoever is controlling the video so that's kind of it um, this computer alone over here is actually um, what does this the streaming and that we kind of only use it for streaming or if we have another uh, presenter which is online sometimes we will take the video input from here as you can see on this so the video input from here well the input from here or whatever is displayed on here comes into our atm video switcher as a video input so zoom and whatever video inputs or if we want to play something we could do from here now over here is kind of where we use our software which is called um, pro presenter 7 and i must say this is an amazing software I've been use, using this for over two years now and I think over a year now since they upgraded to Pro Presenter 7 and this is an amazing software. Um, this is where we do most of our video playing um, just to make it seamless to our service. This is kind of the software in which we, we, we use on a daily basis and it's amazing from uh, being able to use macros um, being able to control you know different aspects playing audio um, we could also have a zoom input um, which I believe I have in one of these so I could get um, through NDI I use you know different inputs in case I need it and that's kind of our setup um, our ATM also I should say is connected to our network so we are able to control it not only by the buttons itself but we also have the functionality of controlling it over the network through um, Blackmagic's um, ATM television studio software so this is kind of our setup at our church um, if you guys have any questions or anything that you think that I should go more in depth with just leave a comment and I'll be able to respond to you guys so thank you guys for tuning in today